also have Sean Rice live now at some of those areas uh, that we were seeing that flooding. Uh, how bad is it looking out there, Sean? Any better? Yes, yeah, uh, Natalie, it feels as if though the rain has lightened up here just a little bit. I am on the corner of 8th Street and Moreno here in Southwest Colorado Springs. We'll show you exactly what this intersection looked like just a few short hours ago as the heaviest of that rain started to come down. This was not the only area of Colorado Springs that experienced varying degrees of flooding. This video sent in from Patty Jewett Golf Course shows flooding on the grounds there. We also learned tonight that Colorado Springs saw between two and three inches of rain between 430 and 6 p.m. Across all of Colorado, there were eight flash flood warnings at the same time, two of which were focused right here in Colorado Springs. And for context on how much rain came down tonight, we learned that for the month of July, Colorado Springs averages three inches of rain for the entire month. And guys, it's pretty incredible that just today, we saw between two and three inches of rain tonight, and that is how much we estimate happens in the entire month of July. And coming up here in just a few minutes, we'll tell you about certain areas of Colorado Springs that may have experienced power outages. So for now, reporting in Colorado Springs, Sean Rice, Cardio News Channel 13.